Welcome to the We On podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we explore the world's longest evolution experiment, a long-term evolution experiment that began in 1988. In just 37 years, it has tracked over 80,000 generations of life, offering a rare, real-time window into how evolution truly works. The Long-Term Evolution Experiment, or LTTE, involves Escherichia coli, or E. coli, and tracking genetic changes in 12 colonies of the same strain of non-pathogenic bacteria. Richard Lenski started the experiment at the University of California on February 24, 1988. It requires taking 1% of the latest descendants of the ancestor strain and transferring them into a new, dilute sugary solution, where they grow further. Lenski states on the website dedicated to the experiment that bacteria easily grow 100-fold in a few hours. They continue to sit there until the next day, and again, 1% of each population is transferred into fresh medium. Bacteria reproduce by binary fission. One cell grows and, after it has doubled in size, divides to produce two daughter cells. The two daughter cells then replicate to make four cells, and so on, Lenski mentions on the website. This 100-fold growth translates to about six and two by three doublings or generations each day. Once 500 generations are achieved, the E. coli that won't be used are frozen after being shielded by a cryoprotectant. The advantage of using E. coli is that it grows and mutates quickly, and the frozen strains can be thawed later for analysis. Lenski says it is like time travel in a scientifically meaningful way. He says this helps them directly compare the current LTE bacteria with their ancestors. The evolved lines can be pitted against their ancestors to see how they have adapted and evolved by natural selection. The experiment is crucial as it throws light on certain processes that aren't observable in nature. Whether natural selection is slow or fast, does it dip at some point? How fit the organism gets, and is there a limit to it, are some of the questions the LTTE experiment helps answer. Six of the 12 LTEE populations evolved to be so-called hypermutators by 50,000 generations, Lenski says. The 10,000th transfer of the experiment happened on March 13, 2017, and in August 2024, the LTEE populations passed 80,000 generations. The experiment is still on and will reveal a lot more about evolution in the near future. Thanks for tuning into this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned.